More charges are expected in Detroit demolition corruption, but the feds say they don't anticipate any charges against public officials. Mayor Mike Duggan on the offensive because City Hall has been under fire with this investigation for years. Jim Kurtzner live now at City Hall with where this is going from here, Jim. Yeah, Glenda, two men pleaded guilty yesterday in federal court in plea deals. One of those worked for a contractor and was a City Hall employee for 10 months. The feds then put out this news release that said, as you alluded to, the government as of today does not anticipate charging any additional public officials. The mayor here taking a political victory lap and turning the tables. I'm just happy for the 150 hardworking employees of the Detroit Land Bank and the Building Authority. I know a cloud has been removed from all of their lives. Yesterday, two former employees from a Damo demolition company located on Seven Mile in Detroit pleaded guilty to fraud for rigging bids with a subcontractor, one of them named in court during their plea deal. That company is Environmental Specialty Services, located right next door to a Damo. They did asbestos removal in what is described as thousands of demolitions done by a Damo in the city of Detroit. The mayor points out the feds are not done with their corruption case. But I, I think you can expect that that'll be the next step. Mayor says the feds have provided the city $265 million over five years. The money's been used to remove 17,000 houses and buildings to eliminate blight. He says the city's work is half done. And the mayor takes this shot about news stories that City Hall may have been the final stop for the feds investigating over the last three years. It's a great relief to the people of this community who hopefully are no longer going to have to listen to any more of the uninformed chatter that Detroit is about to experience more indictments of their public officials. Now, Detroit and the metro area has certainly seen a lot of public corruption investigated and cases convicted by the feds. Now, in this latest case, I called that company up on Seven Mile. Environmental Specialty Services have not heard back. I talked with two former federal prosecutors about the wording of this news release, and they say the wording that we do not anticipate charging any additional public officials is certainly not absolute. That can change. Live downtown, Jim Kurtz. 7 Action News. All right, Jim, thank you.